Welcome to CLC Guru. In this session, we will discuss an example to implement job sequencing with deadline using greedy algorithm. So, in this problem, n jobs will be given. Associated with each job, deadline and profit will be given. And here the problem is, we need to find the set of jobs that should be completed within that deadline and that should earn maximum profit. So, already in the previous session, we have discussed the concept of job sequencing problem with deadline and the design steps along with the greedy algorithm. I will provide the link in the description for your reference. So now in this session, we will implement the steps to solve the job sequencing problem with deadline. With one example. The problem is, obtain the optimal solution for job sequencing problem with deadline where n is equal to 4. That is the number of jobs given here is 4. And the profit of each job, that is P1, P2, P3 is 100, 10, 15 and 27. And its corresponding deadline is D1, D2, D3, D4. So deadlines are 2, 1, 2, 1. So this is the given problem. So first if we are considering they have given 4 jobs. So N is equal to 4. That is job 1, 2, 3 and 4. Associated with each job its corresponding profit and deadline. So for job 1 profit is 100 deadline is 2. And for job 2, profit is 10 and deadline is 1. And for job 3, profit is 15, deadline is 2. Job 4, profit is 27 and deadline is 1. So the design steps is nothing but the first step, we need to arrange these jobs in decreasing order of profit. So here our aim is the given job should be completed within their deadline and that should earn maximum profit. So First, we need to consider the profit and select the job which earns the maximum profit first. And select the next job which earns the next maximum profit. Likewise, we need to arrange the jobs in decreasing order of profit. So, this is the first step. Step 1, arrange the jobs in decreasing order of profits. So, jobs are 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if we are considering here, the first job earns the maximum profit. So, consider this as the first job. So, its profit is 100 and deadline is 2. Next step. Consider the next job which earns the next maximum profit. That is job number 4. So, now we need to give the next preference to this job. That is its profit is 27 and deadline is 1. And the next job which earns the maximum profit is job number 3. So its profit is 15 and its deadline is 2. And the last job is job number 2 with profit is 10 and its deadline is 1. So this is the first step. So we have arranged the job in decreasing order of profit. From the next step onwards, we need to consider each job whether it should be completed within the deadline. And if it should be completed within the deadline, assign to the computer for execution. So now if you are considering, this is the subset of jobs in order which earns the maximum profit. So now in the next step, consider job number 1 and add to the subset to be assigned to the computer for execution. So select job 1, its profit is 100 and deadline is 2. So, if you are considering this second job, it should be completed within second unit of time. Consider each job has to be assigned to the machine for execution only one unit of time. But this job, if you are considering, it should be completed within second unit of time. So, select this job and assign to the subset for execution. So, if you are considering here, job and deadline. This is job number 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you are considering here, we are going to select the first job. That is job number 1, its deadline is 2. Then add this job to its subset. So first job we have confirmed to assign to the machine for execution. And its profit if we are considering that is 100. Next step. Consider the next job, that is job number 2. 
and if this job is to be completed within their deadline means we can consider this job and assign to a subset so consider job number 2 its profit is 27 and deadline is 1 and if you are considering here its deadline is 1 and the first job's deadline is 2 so the second job should be completed within first unit of time itself and the first job we can complete in second unit of time. So arrange the job in order such that this second job give first preference and the first job give second preference. Then both the jobs will be completed within the deadline. So now consider with the subset the first preference we will give it to the second job. And its deadline is 1. Here we need to arrange the jobs according to the deadline. And the next job is first job. That is 1 and its deadline is 2. Now if you are considering the job subset, we can add the second job first and then the first job. We are giving preference accordingly. So that both the jobs we can able to complete within the deadline and we can earn maximum profit. And the profit if we are considering the first job profit is 27 plus the next job is 100. So, totally 127. Next step, consider the third job. Its deadline is 2. So, if you are considering here, in the first unit of time, we will assign job number 2 for execution and we will earn profit 27. In the second unit of time, we will assign job number 1 for execution and we will earn profit 100. If you are considering the third job, it should be completed within their deadline. That is, deadline is 2 here. But in the second unit of time, we will assign this first job for execution. We cannot able to assign this third job. And also its profit is lesser compared to this job. So, we should neglect this job. If a job is to be completed within their deadline, then we can consider the job. And if you are considering a job and it should not be completed within the deadline means, so we need to neglect that particular job. So job number 3 we won't consider. Next, consider job number 4. Its deadline is 1. That is, it should be assigned to the machine in the first unit of time itself. If you are assigning after that, no use. So job number 4 also we cannot able to consider neglect this job also. So, among this given 4 jobs, only 2 jobs we can able to assign to the computer for execution and we can able to complete those jobs within their deadline and we can earn maximum profit. And the remaining 2 jobs, that is job number 3 and job number 4, since its deadline is already over, we cannot able to assign this job to the computer for execution. We should neglect these 2 jobs. So, step 4. Rest of the jobs are discarded because its deadlines are already over. So now we have completed this problem. So result if we are considering, optimal solution is first we need to assign the second job and next we need to assign the first job to the computer for execution. And the profit earned if you are considering, the total profit is 127. So this is the solution for this given job sequencing problem. Thank you for watching this video.